A rapper turned trapper can't morph into us, but a trapper turned rapper can morph into puff. Okay, I'm testing out a new uh, side recording at the same time recording while I'm recording live and recording on the side. So when you hear me talk, I can actually effectively excerpt it out without, you know, taking away from any of my other tasks that I'm doing. So I, when I'm done recording this, I'm going to post it. This is just a, a, a quick test just to see how this works. Um, when I start talking, I know a lot of people miss some of the stuff I'm saying, which is important for everybody to try to, you know, hear some of the stuff I'm talking about, I think that's what I think personally, but maybe it, maybe it's not that important. Let's just let's address one problem that I heard in my Discord about Trend Chaser V1 has multiple. I'll show you what they are right here. Let's just uh, ease on down over. All right. What you're gonna see is. Uh, I got a different version over here, so I, I kind of want to replicate what I'm what I got over there. So let's go, let's go back over here. I don't want to tamper with those settings because I don't know what I was doing before. I'm gonna just blow this one up. Are we heading up? Are we heading up? Pitbull seems to think so. Trend Chaser seems to think so. Let's address a couple of things right here. We're gonna address. Why would it say three? I'll tell you why. Let's zoom in on this. Start with this. Let's let's start with the first thing first, and then we'll talk about the three, and then we're going to talk about these multiple closes right here. Cause see, in Trend Chaser version one, I I I might bring this back, but I had it to where if Bitmex, see Bitmex is not having any overload issues, but back when Bitmex had overload issues, I had it V1 set up to where it would close a previous long just in case the short didn't take, all right? So how do you know this is a long signal versus a short signal or close, you know, which one is which? Go to your data window, okay? Boom, magically, you see Trend Chaser V1S, I mean, sorry, CS alerts, all right? I can hide that, hide that, so you know what, what it is. It's down here, okay? And you see close, long, close, short. Now, this is the tricky part. So what I'll do is uh, we'll try to just hover hover over. Let me let me pull it up a little bit. And you see you can barely see that, but that one is flashing. See that's short, close short. That's exactly what you thought it was. But what about these over here? What the hell is this? Close short. So I'm long. So if it's saying close short, it's not going to close your long. But what if the long didn't take? What if the long didn't take on Bitmex? That's what you got to understand. So. I'm gonna zoom this out so we can we can select or hover over so we can see the one close short. Now what if this long didn't take and we're still short? What would it close this out right here? If it didn't close this out right here already, you can close it short right here. Because at the same time, this could have been overload at the same time. I don't find the need to do this anymore in my future boss because Bitmax has upgraded themselves to the point where we don't have overload anymore. I don't know if you guys aware of that. Bitmax doesn't have overload issues no more. So everybody that's still saying, yeah, I can't fuck with Bitmax. I can't even put orders when we're spiking. Uh, we don't have those problems here. The users of Bitbull, no one's complained about that in like over three months. I swear to God. Swear to God. All right, so look. I took this feature out. But also, if this didn't take, this is a closed short. Here's another one. Closed short. So you don't have to worry about your long right here, okay? Your long... You're long, okay? Let's go back some more just so I can illustrate this. This awesome feature that I put in there. Here's a short. This probably was closing along. See? Close long. You can see it right here. It says close long as soon as I hover over it. That's the that's the good thing about the data window right here. Okay. It lets you see. This is also where you check on uh to see your uh stop losses. And all that stuff but I don't have stop losses I disabled it in this version right here because it, it skewed uh, the magic of this uh, proprietary algorithm that I'm using here it's doing some funky funky math in here and it ties up with the EMA uh, 
with the EMA, um, what is it called? Oh, fuck. The Fibonacci EMAs, all right? And they're not crossing, fam they're not crossing, they're not cross, EMA cross signals. They're more like uh, magnets, EMA magnets and support and resistance for the dynamic EMA on the four hour chart. I don't know if you guys have been aware of that. Very difficult programming. Along with, on top of that, a confluence of um, bulls. No, I can't say it's bull and bear control because that's, that's something new. That's a visualized form of an engine that I use in here to determine. It's like counting cards. It's like basically trying to figure out who's who's controlling, who's buying more, who's going, who's got more. And it's it could be wrong. So it's not like it's 100%. All right, this is a 92% strategy, right? But look, let's look at it in 30 days. This is the last 14 days. In the last 30 days, okay, this is 81% strategy. Still good. Fuck, what can I say? Still good, all right? Let's go back and see. In 30 days, you would have made $6,341. All right, let's just go back over here. Make sure all of this matches with the script over here, with the alert script. This is the alert script. That has to match with the strategy script. For these alerts to come off. Funny thing is, Trading View does not allow anyone to take alerts on these strategy only. So you have to ask someone code your alerts. If you have a good strategy that's working for you guys and you're manually, you're trying to get alerts on these things, call me. Call me. I'm the man. If you got the code right here, I'm the man. I can give you some alerts that will fucking supplement your fucking strategy system. If you got a good manual strategy, but you will you would like to see how it back tests to make sure your shit's call me, man. Call me. I got you. I can hook you up with a with a strategy, buddy. All right. If it's codable, some shit's not codable, man. I'm telling you, because it's way too like you need AI. So I got a I got a Python bot on the way using some, you know, visual pattern recognition. I got all that stuff in the works, but uh, it just doesn't tie in with anything you can do in PineScript, which is what we're using right here. This is the Pine Editor. That's Trading Views proprietary uh, uh, coding language that they've developed for just for just for just for financial trading purposes. Okay. I think this bot will do good on S&P also. I don't. I'm not having really verified that, but I think it will do on the Nasdaq and S&P. It does, this this actually does good on all Bitcoin markets, which is fascinating as fuck. All right, that's what I'm gonna tell you. So, address this problem right here. This is not a problem. This is the three right here. I know you're like, damn, it's a three right there. It's closing out three right here. Close minus one plus plus two, right? That that closes out this. This is two right here. But here's a three right here. All right, so let's just look at this three right here. You know, I'm in the future. I, I thought this was the past, but this is the future. I mean, this is the past. I thought it was the future. All right, here we go right here. Here's a three. This is the future right here. This is where we're at currently. Let me hit auto. This is where we're currently at. So, past looks like the future for some reason, huh? All right, so the three closes out, closes out. Three right here. Why would it show us three? Well, it's time to double down. That's all that means, okay? I didn't double up on the long call. Because it, it didn't say three plus three, it says plus two. That's just normal plus two. It's just flipping, flipping orders and closing one and and, and going going long. Okay, so it's just it's not easy programming this type of type of stuff. I'm gonna just tell you like this. So you don't want Big Bull doubling down for you, okay? And you can't. It's not even feasible to do it in such a way where I can have two alerts go off for one alert. It doesn't work that way for auto view, which is taking the alerts and automating everything. That's a Chrome extension that we're using to automate our trading view alerts called auto view. There's another knockoff called, <laughs> there's a knockoff of auto view, man, where the guy actually took the auto view code, copied it, and now he has something called profit view, and everybody's talking hella shit. In his in his comments, like you just took all of you and just fucked it up, and I'm just like, that's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Fucking blatant ass copy, fucking. That's why you don't disclose your code. But all of you, they're cool, man. I like all. I still would pay all of you. 
because they're like pretty much they've open sourced their code. I mean, well, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this. <laughs> You gotta. You should use a service like AutoView because um, you don't. You know, it takes away from the workload. I'm gonna say that. But eventually, my Python. But I don't need. I'm not gonna need a Chrome extension to take to take any uh thing from TradingView, any kind of alert from TradingView. But I am gonna still incorporate um, some signals from the alerts because the alerts get pushed to my phone instantaneously. I don't even know how I, I, I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna I don't know I'm just debating on whether I'm gonna keep using AutoView or not and just push the API to my own personal API because I'm doing the API module right now for my Python stuff and I'm like yeah I could use something like AutoView for my clients ease of use to tell you the very truth okay all right so very easy to set up very easy but I mean auto view pine code using the same pine scripts that you guys got right here right pushing it to my API and then um, being able to manage the account from the application sitting on your desktop you managing it you know no withdrawal functions or nothing like that because you control you once you create your own API there you don't you select you can select right from bitmex whether or not you will allow anyone or you yourself to withdraw or access the actual withdrawal function so that's you don't have to worry about somebody withdrawing your funds but what you do have to worry about is somebody trading against your shit which is something I I had the I had to code against with with this uh, trend chase so with a lot of my bots I put code in there to where to throw off trading view and people snooping. I wonder sometimes if it works or not. <laughs> but it's all right, man. This is just like a mouthful, right? Well, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and talk your ear off. But yeah, if you see a, a minus three, yeah, just it's it's a signal saying basically you can double down on it. Like I did, I doubled down on this one, and I was able to triple my money. That's what when you double, like say if it goes short, it'll place an order. Big bull bot, right? Big bull trend chaser. We'll basically place an order right here, okay? Right there. As soon as you get one of these signals right here, boom, it'll place this order. No bullshit for real, okay? And um, as you can see, you'll be like, oh, that's a three. You might be like, well, what, 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 what that mean? Uh, just go right over here and then select the, the amount right here. You see this amount right here? You can, all, all you got to do to double down is click that. It'll it'll show you this amount right here, and then double down. Press bar. Boom. I can double down right now. I can double down right now on this one plus two right now by just going ahead and press buy at market right. Here. Boom. Buy at market. I'll double down this right here. This doubles my leverage. Will automatically double from 13 to 26.44. Okay. Boom, I'll see my liquidation price right here, okay, which is $65, $55 I'll change. I think I'll just keep it like this because I don't, do I really, I mean, I know we're bullish right now. I mean, we're bearish. I'm not going to double down in a, on a long, okay. I will double down on a short in a heartbeat. Okay, because we're in a bearish market. Come on, fellas. Come on, ladies. You know what the deal is we're gonna go down further than we go up all right faster than we go up with more aggression than we go up all right when we go down all right because everybody's knowing we're in a damn bears market still until we get over that point of no return which I talked about in my previous videos but let's go ahead and enter tech TA real fast let's enter TA all right so uh oh the wifey calling. Uh oh. I don't even have my earbuds. My cat he ate up my old pair of earbuds. Now I got these old funny looking ones. Making a video. Let me let me put you on uh my earbuds real quick.
What's going on? What's going on? Just give her something to choose from, some, 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 some uh, Nikes. Go to a Nike store. Get out of there. Just leave this. Don't even get her none today. Just leave it alone. I'll have a talk with her. Don't even get her, get her no shoes today. Her, the shoes she got, she had to get some shoes that's not going to make her ankles wobble like them fucked up ass shoes she, she are selected. So just get out of there. It would be better done at a, at a better store where she can't even choose no weird looking shoes. Like the Nike outlet. You're not there now. Ah, okay. You're not listening to me. All right. I understand. I just told you what to, what you should do. Do it. Do it a different at a different store where she can't even select different things. Cause she's gonna have an attitude problem. So just get out of there. Okay. All right. All right, babe. I Sorry about that. Sorry. That's the first time I took a live call. I'm sorry about that, man. Back to shoe school. Back to shoe school shopping. Back to school shoe shopping. Man, that was a, that was a, that was a tongue twister. All right. So look. I'll go ahead and wrap this up. But I was going to show you some TA real quick. Um, Really quick, uh, really quick, just to get this stuff up. Cause I want this is my first little live short. I mean, this is my short side note video, you know. And well, let's go to the daily. Let's go to the three day. All right, really where you want to look. We really want to look at the monthly to tell you the truth. Let me go to the monthly. Monthly on a monthly. Algorithmic. Right, otherwise, you're not going to be able to tell what the hell you're looking at. And we're just hanging out, man. Look. Hanging out. You think we can actually come back down here to 11122? I don't know, man. No. I don't know. But we definitely are not. We're still bullish as fuck. All right. That's why I haven't labeled my, my bot bit bear because it's like really the real overall market is bullish in Bitcoin. Don't get it twisted. So we came down here to test this. It's 59.12. I don't really think we're going to break 59.12, 56,000. Unless we, once we start closing below this on a monthly, best believe you're fucking hog dangles. We're going down to 38, 37, okay? We're going down to that 4,000 level. For sure. All right. For sure. It might be up here by then, but, you know, that's a for sure shot, all right? If we start closing below this. 21 EMA on a monthly. All right. Now let's 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 migrate down to the weekly. What's going on here? We're respecting this uh this right here. We're respecting this, which is six thousand two. So, uh, of course we're gonna start closing on this one first on the weekly. Look out for that. Let's go to the three day. Are we closing below anything on the three day? Let's see. God damn it. Oh. Matter. Uh, doesn't look like. See, these don't matter. You know why? Because right when we closed below it, we went and closed right back above it the next week. So this didn't matter. It, did, it invalidated this one. You see that? It closed below it. We were supposed to go down from here, man. And everybody was like, yeah, let's go down. And it was like, nope, going up. Somebody was like, nope, we're going up. I remember that day. Then, then this shit happened. Boom. I was like, what? Came back and bounced off of this again. People were still going short down here. Crazy motherfucker. Boom. And now look, we're closing below this 21 EMA. Do you think we're coming back down to 62? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you everything. All right. Not everything. So here is the two day. I'm gonna look at this because we're closing below this right here. And what is hanging beneath? Nothing more. Um, I can't read this right now. It's just really, really difficult because I don't have any turn this on. There we go. Now I can see. Let's see. What do I got lined up here? 
Now we got a crucial support zone, resistance zone. Either we, we could either if we break above this, which is what I'm betting we're going to do. We're going to go back up. So we're going to probably test either seven one, seven two, seven three, seven five. We're going to go back up here and test. We could probably come all the way back up here and test this seventy eight. So I wouldn't be surprised if we come all the way back to seventy eight. Not gonna lie to you. Before we head back down lower, all right, to where you don't really want to go, all right, which is six thousand ish. Maybe testing this thing right here, sixty-five. All right, come back down, test this. Let me pull this out soon. Wix, 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 Wix. All right, test this six, sixty-six, eighty. All right, 6679 level, level right here. So, right there we go. 6679. That sucks. Well, 6679. All right, there we go. So, up, then down. All right, so I'm done. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go to the four hour. I said I was gonna migrate down. You guys can see how these EMAs actually affect the market. You can get this EMA. Uh, it's called a multi, or you know, multi EMA. I don't sell indicators. Okay, indicators. People who sell indicators are crazy. I sell strategies. Okay, I sell automated strategies. So my indicators that you see. Like bull bear control and um, you know um, uh, multi. I believe it's that's what it's called multi. Ma Fibonacci Ma. You can get this on your chart. One indicator will put up like 40s colorful rainbow color looking Ma's. So you can see your dynamic support and resistance. This is the eight hours so i'm just have we closed the candle above here on the eight hour how many hours we got four hours before the next eight hour candle closes let's go let's see let's go let's go oh hours oh we just had a candle close on the four hour let's see let's see what did we do close above yeah we did we didn't i <laughs> know we didn't Could be wrong, but uh, because I mean, this thing is a little tricky. This is not like fucking exacto mundo science. We could be closed, we could have closed above where we needed to to go get a signal to go ahead and go higher. It's tricky, right? Or this is like really tricky, tricky, tricky. But I'm gonna tell you like this since we're hovering at the top of this level, not down here, I think I know for sure we're going higher. I said that like. I know for sure. Like I just said it. I know for sure we're going higher. All right. And the other confluencing signals that I'm getting are this right here. This, this right here. It's crossing up. It's not even going below the. It's like bouncing off of this this red one, which is like a moving average of the other signal, which is understandably the one that this thing will bounce off of itself. And if it crosses up into this above 20 right here, this line right here. This stochastic basically is giving us a buy signal. This is oversold levels. All right, there's no one, two, three, and then you get a divergence right here. How does this divergence look from here to here? Let's see. Can't really see it, huh? Can you see it? That's 21. Let's just. Double click here, it is right there. Damn, is that right? Sorry, make it make it work for daddy. I think this is it. Let me see. Fuck, really? I feel like Tom Vage now, man. It's crazy. This dumbass shit. What is this? 21? Let's just remember that that number, 21. Because this shit's fucking up. All of a sudden I only see 21 Here it is. Here's 21 right here. That's it. And so the one before it is right here. All right. So that's the divergence right there. So it's pushing us up. All right. From this point right here. So this is the low. It's going to push us up. So this didn't even matter. This shit coming all the way down here to 68, 78 would have been nice. That's our second opportunity to get long right here. 
all right and this is bullish any same time you see a long ass bottom wick that's bullish all right i'm done i'm done this is the four hour chart i'm done i'm done i'm done are we coming back up we got four more hours to close will we close this next candle in the next three hours and 22 minutes above this crucial support i mean this crucial resistance line right here that's going to turn into a support for us we can start bouncing off of it head hard too we hit this level right and that's maybe that's a maybe you know we, we can probably we got this resistance this resistance this resistance this major resistance right here so probably just end up at 73 and come back down but if we actually start closing above 73 <laughs> all right whatever that's what i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna say whatever because I don't want you guys just taking everything I'm saying and acting like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm going to say I could be wrong, okay? All right, so that being said, I'm going to probably hang out just for a little second. All right, I don't know. Look at the chart right here. I drink at least four cups of coffee a day. It keeps the doctor away. It does, really? Yeah, it does. Coffee is extremely healthy for you, especially if you um have drunk alcohol and suffered like liver damage it reverses kidney and liver damage caused by alcohol it does it really does i did my research do your own research do your do your own research yeah ending a breakout maybe maybe up to the upside, maybe. I'm with Big Bull on this one. All right. This is V1, okay? Okay. So what I'm what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna mute this. I'm gonna publish this video. And I'm gonna sign out. All right, and you guys take care and have a enjoy enjoy your Sunday. Crypto never sleeps. Unfortunately, we do. That's why I made Bitbull. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Think about it. All right. Take care, guys. Signing out. This is Crypto Trader underscore. You can find me on Trading View. You can find Bit my Bitbull. I program myself on uh, Trading View. Just search at Crypto Trader underscore. Okay. Underscore underscore. Some some more shit like that. All right. Take care.